Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. And I think it's time to expand another set of colonies. It's, a, it's a very annoying when you don't have Jefferson. It's gonna take so long to get uh, <laughs> the cities uh, running since they start at 100% uh, royalist sentiment. Uh, but I want to check one thing. Founding Fathers. Pocahontas. Let's see. All tension levels are reduced to content. Yeah. All Indian love is generated half as fast. So having her would be good if we wanted to start an Indian war. In due respect, if we already fought one war, they're gonna just default back to content. And that, especially, Indian Alarm is generated half as fast, would mean you'd be able to do more damage before... Um, yeah, before they would uh, burn your missionaries. So there's that. Except what is also... Yeah. Probably someone we want before we try to uh, eradicate the natives here. I mean, we do want another colony here, right where they are located. We'd want a colony here in southern Florida. We want a colony right there. Get rid of the Apache that way. We could certainly... All the inland area here would be awesome. All the rivers. Juicy, juicy rivers. Uh, but for now... Can do, we can do quite okay by just being between his colonies. I mean, getting rid of everything along here and then south here ish would be quite good for us. And we don't have a European rival available in the area that would uh, benefit from it. That's one of the most annoying things. If you remove Indian villages too soon, uh, the. <laughs> The AI can sometimes swoop in and just take the land. And he tried to speak to us and we couldn't actually speak to him. Huh. Well, that's actually okay with me because he usually just try to blackmail me with something or other. So I'm okay with that. Okay, we got a carpenter. Up and train, good, good. Uh, you get started on the university. We need to start uh, pumping out elder statesmen. You're heading for Kurokao. Just to verify, you still want. Tobacco and trade goods, yeah. Ah, you do have a cargo ore. Yeah, you go home with that ore, that's fine. I can sell that for a profit. Getting to the point where getting Stuyvesant would be nice. Just to automate all this stuff. These ships are empty, so there's no point in attacking them. Right, you are probably gonna be retrained into something. I'm gonna send you south to New Amsterdam for now. And you 
Go to the safe. And you go north as well. More converts. Okay, fine. Can always find a use for them. Oh, darn it. Okay, fine. Didn't lose it though, so that's that's something. I mean, damage ship, that's just a small setback, really. Just return to New Amsterdam, would you please? I'm sure there is some cargo somewhere we can load aboard. Speaking of, let's see if we can just fill in these cargoes. And actually, it didn't have enough timber to get a full cargo. That's fine too, though. Off you go. All these poor pioneers get out here to work and suddenly find that there's no work for left for them. Um, because we don't have the tools for them. Traveling towards Brazil is kind of dangerous because that's where all their privateers are, so... We might just want to stay on the northern side and raid whatever shipping we can find there. Oh, you have room for another colonist. Um, do you have room for one who actually works? The yeah, not really. That's gonna be bad news in the long run, I guess. I am gonna get notified before you start, right? I think so. Uh, I'm trying to unload 100 horses. I'm trying to unload those 40 ones. There we go. And bring your timber and your tobacco. At the very least, back north. Yeah, you're gonna go through a safe. Um, I saw you actually. Yeah, that's fine. Could turn them into soldiers, but right now we're gonna need carpenter. Carpenters and lumberjacks to fuel the new colonies that we're building. Oh, that English ship. Tempting, but. Oh, good! The other privateer disappeared. That's what I was afraid of, that other privateer. Right, NASA have got a warehouse, finally. Um, <laughs> let's get the church up and running. Because you have a newspaper, right? Yeah, you do. And I can't increase food production. Not yet, anyway. Few more tobacco leaves, do that please, and then set and 
Mountains at the north. Someday they'll get down to the Incan Empire. Uh, there is not enough cargo available just yet. Go to Fort Orange and empty that town, please. Uh, Fort Nassau should have tools available. Yeah, they do. At least some tools. Uh, we were gonna cut that forest too, right? Yes, it's just this one to the south that we're gonna keep. Everything else is just gonna become flatlands. Everything around there is being improved. You're gonna go south ish and fix this again. There is that galleon. Too tempting a target. We have to attack. 90 rum and 100 horses. Yes, please. And hopefully we can get back without being attacked. It was there, wasn't it? Yeah, that seems fine. Bahia. And running, and now we need... Yeah, now we need more missionaries. But that should be fairly easy to fix. We just need some someone willing. <laughs> and I think we had some volunteers over in Europe. And we are going to need the same thing down with the Aztecs. You're being repaired, you just dump everything. Oh, right on cue. Um, yeah. I'm gonna bless you as a missionary too. Okay, now we hit the 600 breakpoint, so now it's just as cheap to recruit ore miners and clear their speciality. If we just want a free colonist. Of course, hardy pioneers are cheaper if we need the tools. Which we do. So I'm gonna recruit two hardy pioneers just for the, for the tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. We're gonna need Someone up there, and there's Brandon Franklin, finally. Best of all, now we can actually make peace with the English. Um, oh, I'm mixing them up, aren't I? Uh, Jefferson just increases Liberty Bell production, and Bolivar increases up to 20%. Regardless, definitely we want. Though, separate that would be nice if we we're gonna fight an Indian war. We, don't, we aren't gonna do that just yet. I mean, there's, they're still not hostile. For whatever reason, they're still quite friendly. Which I am amazed at, to be honest. Quite happy with, by all means, but still rather surprised. Um, yeah, unload, unload, unload. Oh, uh, okay, never, not unload, don't. Can't unload that much then. can't hold it either. Do we have an inbound ship? No, but that's fine. Just fine. Okay, so we lost a few a few coin there, I suppose. We are going to lose a few coin, rather. Just verify that they still want tobacco trade goods and tools. Fine. I can save that lumber after all. Mm. We 
do have more tobacco, but that's probably something we're going to trade with the natives. I mean, they love tobacco, so... Yeah, we might as well go and check with the Cherokee. Yeah, they want tobacco, so... That's on the top list. And let's see, we're gonna have to cut down the forests everywhere, actually, yeah. That's the only forest we're gonna keep, everything else is gonna be cut down. We got some goods, let's get home with those. We're heading south to plant a southern colony. I'm sort of tempted to make a colony in the south, just to act as a pirate base, but... Uh, that's that's a long trek. Uh, so yeah, there's a big risk in doing that once we get to the War of Independence, because that colony is going to be so vulnerable compared to everywhere else. There we go. We're sea faster. It's okay going. And a proper amount of food. Let's see, Fort Nassau is fully improved, uh, New Amsterdam is fully improved, Fort Orange is also fully improved. Not gonna need any more pioneering there. I'm gonna need a road up to Bahia at some point. percent ouch that is rather steep um oh my uh, but if we don't we won't be able to sell coats anymore okay Trade, and we're going to trade tobacco because they wanted that, and they per they're paying a fortune for it. Um, yes, we gratefully accept that. Tools and trade goods. Oh my. Um, okay, let's try. How much for silver? That would be quite acceptable. And yeah, the tobacco is going to be saved. Or someone out there will want the tobacco. Um, right. These guys wanted wanted the tobacco, didn't they? No, they didn't, actually. They wanted rum or something. Ugh. Oh. Again, memory of Ignat here. We don't have the extra tools. You're gonna go to New Amsterdam and be re-educated. into a lumberjack. Seems fine. We're not producing many crosses at this point. Let's just. I'm just gonna go verify so I don't mess these up anymore. Bolivar. Increase the. Yeah, that's good. Liberty membership, all colonies by 20%. That's the one I actually wanted. Uh, 
Because that's going to mean, mean that we're going to be able to stuff a lot more people into our, all our colonies. That'll be awesome. Of course, Jefferson would also be pretty darn awesome. And see who we get. At least we got Franklin out of the way. Uh, we could end the war with the um, with the English, but uh, that would kind of mean that we'd, we'd have to we'd have to send someone down there to talk to them. Now the carpenter is ready. Good. Come on. Let's try to like herd away that soldier. And you just have a look. Okay, tobacco, fine, you need tobacco. Ugh. So I was sort of right of maybe. Sorta of, kinda of maybe right. Alright, you're gonna north you're going north. Oops. You're going south, you're making a road, you are gonna go north to the Indian village. Because I want the expert to go down to the. Oh, oops, not there. Ah, he's blocking the road. Fine, you just wait there then. I want the expert to go south to the Aztecs. You finish working around Kurakao. And you... Yeah, come to think of it, my New Holland, what do you need? You just need roads. Okay. That's quick enough, quick enough to deal with. And there's you. You are now actually ready to start... a proper colony here. Hmm... It's gonna cut food production a little bit, hopefully. Not too much. Seems fine. Get this colony going, please. Uh, Korakao, you can afford one more. Uh, I guess we're gonna make food then. Until we can increase liberty membership or liberty sentiment sufficiently. Uh, these guys wanted trade goods, so we're gonna try. Oh! Ah, that's a big loss. Um, okay, fine, we have to accept that. Uh, we probably can't afford another silver cargo. How much would you offer me for sugar? Yeah, that's fine. It's a cheap sugar cargo. Okay, so they didn't offer much for trade goods. We can't really afford to uh, buy more trade goods then. It's just, it's just gonna be a massive loss. Which shouldn't really surprise anyone. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna take a short break here and we'll continue later. Thank you for watching.